And in today's lesson, we're going to talk about have had, has had, and had had. Now, many students have come to me and said, I saw had had in a sentence. Is that grammatically correct or is that an error? Is that a typo, meaning a printing error? And let me tell you, all three of these forms are grammatically correct and you should learn how to use them correctly. Right over here, I have three sentences that are going to help us understand these forms. Take a look at the first sentence, I have had lunch. What a strange sounding sentence, right? I have had lunch. Well, let me tell you a little secret. When you see two haves in a sentence, this is have, this is also have, it's just in the past participle form. Uh, it's had, but it's basically just have. So when you see two haves in a sentence, then the first have and the second have have different meanings. This first have is called a helping verb. I've written helping verb over there. And this had is called the main verb. It's called the main verb because it has the main meaning in the sentence. This have only shows the tense of the sentence. So when you see have, have or had used as the main verb, that means that it is being used as a shortcut for some other word. But in this case, what could that other word be? What could be the meaning of had? Well, take a look at this list over on this side. When we use have as the main verb in a sentence, it could mean a number of different things. It could mean to eat, like when we talk about having breakfast or having dinner. Or it could mean to have a drink, which means just to drink something. Or we could be talking about owning something. Like when I say, uh, I have a car, I mean that I own a car. Or it could show some relationship between people. I have a sister. That means, um, or that shows a brother-sister relationship. Or it could uh, talk about some kind of experience. Like if I said, I had difficulty or I had trouble finding the place, that means it was difficult for me to find the place. Now these are just some example meanings of have. The word have has many meanings in English. So if you want to see all of those meanings, uh, go and look at your dictionary and find the word have and you'll see a lot of meanings. But these are some of the more common meanings. Okay, let's now look at our sentence. I have had lunch. So what could this had mean in this sentence? Well, in this sentence, it means eaten. Because here, you see there's the word lunch. So this sentence just means, I have eaten lunch. We are using had as the shortcut for eaten. Okay, but what about this have? Well, as I told you before, that have shows the tense of the sentence. To understand that, read the sentence without the have. I had lunch. I had lunch means I ate lunch. When did I have lunch? Maybe I had lunch yesterday or the day before, any time in the past, and that has no connection to the present. But when we use this have, it shows that my eating lunch has some connection to the present. For example, if a friend comes to me and asks, hey, do you want to have lunch with me? And I don't want to have lunch because my lunch is already finished. I would say, oh, I have had lunch. Thank you very much. So this have shows that I just ate lunch. So it shows some connection to the present. So you see, this have shows the tense and this had means eaten. So they're completely different uh, functions or purposes. 
All right, with this knowledge, let's now look at the second sentence. He has had four jobs in two years. Once again, we're going to separate the two halves. This is the helping verb and this is the main verb. And the meaning of the main verb here is worked. So he has worked four jobs in two years is what it means. So once again, had is being used as a shortcut for worked. What about this has? Well, this is just the same as this have over here, but we are saying has because the subject is he. If the subject is he, she, or it, we say has. If the subject is I, uh, you, we, or they, we use have. So if the subject here were I, this would be have. I have had four jobs in two years. But since it's he, it's has. And once again, the tense here is the present perfect tense. And this has shows some connection to the present. So he has had four jobs in two years. And maybe he still works in one of those jobs. So it's connected to the present in some way. Okay, let's now move on and talk about the more challenging part, which is had had. When Sandra arrived, everyone had had dinner. When you look at this sentence first, it might seem a little scary with two hads in it, but we have this tool of separating the two halves. So let's do that. This is a grammar had, and this is the main verb had. And this had means, once again, eaten. So when Sandra arrived, everyone had eaten dinner is the meaning. So one problem is now solved. But what about this had? Why are we using had over here? The reason for that is that this sentence does not have a connection with the present. It's talking completely about the past. But also notice that there are two actions in this sentence. There is arrived and there's also this had, which means eaten. So when we put had before one action, it shows that this action happened first and this action happened second. Down here, I have a timeline and I will show you the sentence on the timeline to make it easier for you to understand. Let's say that that's the future. This is now and over on this side is the past. You see here that I have marked two actions in the past. Now from this sentence, which is the first action? Well, it's easy. This action is first because we've put the word had in front of it. So first what happened was everyone had eaten dinner. That happened first. And after some time, maybe an hour later, Sandra arrived. So that action happened second. So because of that, maybe Sandra did not get any food because there was no food left over. Everyone had eaten dinner or everyone had had dinner. So there was uh, no more food to give to Sandra. So the purpose of this had is only to show that this action happened first. So you see, once again, the two hads are completely different words and they have completely different meanings. Okay, before we close this lesson, I want to tell you two things very quickly. The first is making negative sentences. To make negative sentences with any of these, you can simply add not to the first have or had. So, I haven't had lunch, so I'm hungry. Or, he hasn't had four jobs in two years, he's had only three jobs. Or, when Sandra arrived, everyone hadn't had dinner, so there was still some food left over, or there was still some dinner to give to Sandra. Now the second thing is pronouncing these sentences. When we say any of these sentences, we do not stress the first have, but we stress the second. So this sentence, we would shorten this have to I've. So I've had lunch. 
We do that because this first have is not important. So, I've had lunch. In the second example, he's had four jobs in two years. He's. He's had four jobs in two years. It sounds like he is, but it's actually he has. And in this last example, when Sandra arrived, everyone had had dinner. Listen to that very carefully. Everyone had had dinner. Had had. The first one is weak, had. And the second is strong, had. So everyone had had dinner. I encourage you to practice these types of sentences. Uh, you can write your own practice sentences and put them in the comments section for me to see. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Uh, I have lots of new lessons coming for you. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I'll see you in another lesson soon.